Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. With South Africa still in the grips of ongoing drought, the 2016 Agri-SA Congress highlighted several issues plaguing the agri community. Megan van Weinkart was at the event and she joins me now. Welcome Megan. Thank you. Megan, Agri-SA President Johannes Moller um, highlighted food security as an issue that needed to top government's list of priorities, um, especially considering its impact on the economy. Can you unpack this for us? Yes, Moller noted that policy and economic application needed to enhance the sector instead of hampering it. And also that with the ongoing drought, a lot of farmers were still facing um, difficulties and that it was further threatening food security. As such, Moller called on the public and private sector to assist the Agri-SA drought fund, which in the last year helped uh, about 13,000 farmers. Um, he said that desperate producers were calling on Agri-SA every single day as they, they did not have animal feed. Their boreholes were drying up and their animals were dying. I'm also speaking at the Congress. Development Policy Committee Chairperson Ernest Pringle highlighted certain steps that needed to be taken if government wanted to successfully proceed with its land reform program. What were some of these steps? Well, Pringle said that as policy currently stands, it is uneconomical and it will lead to further uncertainty about food in the country. He suggested that ownership needs to be extended as a basis of land reform with a stringent beneficiary selection system so that uh, the agricultural land is successful. He further also called on government to assist with funding and training of, of the land beneficiaries um, to ensure that they are self-sufficient in future. His thoughts were echoed by Grain Essay's Praline Swart, who said that the the a willing farmer needed to be matched with the correct farm. However, she argued that land reform was taking far too long. The Congress also highlighted farmer security as a top priority. Can you elaborate on this? Surprisingly, the Institute for Security Studies, uh, Dr. Johan Berger, mentioned that it was still, it continued to be dangerous to be a farmer in South Africa. He added there, there was a constant fight for security resources as the police was already preoccupied by the high crime rates in South Africa. Further, Berger said that farms were disproportionately targeted for attacks and that there was about eight attackers present per attack. Thank you, Megan. Thanks. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.